Ever since OG Ananobi has returned to the lineup, I've been watching Tom Thibodeau, his adjustments, who's been part of his regular rotation and who's been left out of it. And one thing has become crystal clear. Alec Burks is likely losing his spot in the regular rotation once the Knicks are fully healthy. We're going to break down exactly why that is and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Alec Burks has been a massive disappointment for this Knicks team. Ever since Burks rejoined this team, after the Knicks traded for him and Bojan Bogdanovic, it's just been one bad game after another. If that sounds harsh, it's because his play has been harsh. His play has been downright atrocious. And I'm not the only one who's noticed that. Head coach Tom Thibodeau, who's basically had a love affair for Burks in the past, he's noticed it too. And he's responded by giving Burks his lowest minutes since joining the New York Knicks. You want to know how many minutes he played last night against Portland, a team that the New York Knicks were blowing out at stretches, 20-point lead at stretches. You want to know how many minutes Alec Burks played? Four. Four minutes. Let's break down the exact minutes distribution last night from Tom Thibodeau and see who played what. As you can see, the New York Knicks straight up blew out the Blazers, 105 to 93. The final score indicates the game was a little bit closer than it actually was. The Knicks blew out this game since basically the start of the game. And I want to say going into that fourth quarter, the Knicks had a 20-point lead at stretches. It wasn't close. But here's the thing. Even though the game wasn't close, Alec Burks still only played four minutes. Just four minutes. My thing is, if you're Burks, if you're going to play more minutes, aren't you going to do that in a blowout? I get if the game is close and you're not having an impact, you're going to ride the bench. But if the Knicks are up big, why wouldn't you play more minutes? You'd think he would, but he still didn't. Tom Thibodeau wouldn't allow it. And I think that speaks volumes to Burks his impact, and his role for this Knicks team moving forward. Going back to the minutes, though, you can see Josh Hart, 42 minutes. 42 minutes played by Josh Hart. Led the entire team in minutes played, even though the night before, he only played 39 minutes. Then you have Jalen Brunson, 38 minutes. Dante DiVincenzo, 37 minutes. OG Ananobi, his second game back, 36 minutes. Hartenstein, 24 minutes. Achua, 24 minutes. McBride, the biggest shock here, 22 minutes. Bojan Bogdanovic, 14 minutes. And then again, Burks, four minutes. For me, it's games like this and the way the minutes are divided that tell me everything I need to know about the head coach, the roster, and who he trusts, who he wants in that game, who he feels has an impact. And this is when the Knicks are not fully healthy. What happens when they get Mitchell Robinson back? What happens when they get Julius Randle back? Who's going to be left out of the rotation? It's really become clear. Who played the fewest minutes in a blowout type of win against the Blazers? Both of the players that we traded for. Bojan Bogdanovic and Alec Burks. Now, I can go into Bojan just a little bit because he hasn't been as bad as Burks. But you know what? He still hasn't been as effective as everybody expected him to be. We obviously wanted more for him. We wanted to see more from him in terms of his three-point shooting, his shooting on the perimeter, his shooting on the wings. But sometimes, oftentimes, even when he's open, he's not making those shots. But for him, I'll reserve my right to give him more criticism until I see this Knicks team fully healthy and they can utilize him just a little bit more. So I'll wait until then. But Burks, I've seen a lot of Burks. And honestly, at this point, I've seen enough of Burks. I'm good on Burks. I don't want to see him as much anymore unless a situation calls for it. So you know what I call Alec Burks at this point? Situational. And Tom Thibodeau is playing him like a situational player. He played four minutes. He went through a regular rotation of eight players yesterday. McBride, Achua, Hartenstein, OG Ananobi, Dante DiVincenzo, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart. All played over 20 plus minutes. And Josh Hart's minutes is likely going to go down once Julius Randle returns. Once OG Ananobi can play without any type of pain or issues with that elbow, he's likely going to play 40 plus minutes. 
Where are the other players going to get minutes from? Where is Alec Burks going to get his minutes from? Who is Tom Thibodeau going to trust? McBride or Burks? Check out what these NBA insiders said about Burks and his usage yesterday in the game against Portland. Bondi stated during the game, how many minutes can the Knicks survive of Alec Burks? NBA insider Steph Bondi, who writes for the New York Post, stated that about Alec Burks. He watches the game just about as good as anybody else does. He writes about it each and every single day, so he has to understand it. And he said that about Alec Burks. How many minutes can the Knicks survive of Alec Burks? Thibodeau answered that, by the way. Only four. We could only survive four minutes of Alec Burks before enough was enough. And here's the biggest indication as to why Alec Burks is likely going to lose his rotation spot for the Knicks once they get fully healthy. According to Fred Cass of The Athletic, Tom Thibodeau said no Burks in the second half was a basketball decision. No injury concern. Done. Finished. Tom Thibodeau basically answered all our questions. It was a basketball decision why Alec Burks didn't see any minutes in that second half and likely why he only played four minutes in the game against Portland. I want to mention again, the Knicks were blowing out Portland in stretches of these games by 20 points at certain times. If you're not playing during those times of the game, if you're not playing during blowouts, during garbage time, when else are you going to play? Josh Hart playing 40 plus minutes right now. When Randall comes back, he might play only 30 minutes or 32 minutes. He might not ever crack 40 minutes again. That's something that we have to note because once the New York Knicks get healthy, they can't play all of these guys the same amount of minutes. Somebody's going to have to lose minutes. Burke's only playing four minutes in a blowout victory tells me he's out of the regular rotation. When the Knicks get healthy, that means Miles McBride is going to take that spot and he might play only five minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes here or there. But Burks, he's not going to see any time. And Bojan Bogdanovic, if he doesn't step up, if his game doesn't get better, he might be situational as well too. I hate to say it, but this trade with Detroit right now for the Knicks is not looking good. And the fact that Tom Thibodeau stated that it was a basketball decision to not play you in the second half against Portland. The fact that you only played four minutes in a blowout victory against Portland tells me everything I need to know about this Knicks team moving forward. And honestly, I'm a little proud of Tom Thibodeau. We know the connection that Thibs has with Alec Burks. We know how highly he used to speak of Burks. He played him heavy minutes when he used to be on the New York Knicks. But I think that also has to do with the talent that was on the roster because it's clear if Tom Thibodeau has better talent or he has talent that is outperforming the players on the floor, he's going to play those guys over his favorites. He did that with Burks, and I think that's the best thing to come out of last night's game. It's not about who Tom Thibodeau likes or loves or respects. It's about who's going to give the Knicks the best chance to win once they're on the floor. And if that's not Burks, you're not going to play heavy minutes. If that's McBride, he's going to play heavy minutes. McBride, when that trade happened, started to play less and less, but that didn't affect his mindset. He's still locked in. He remained focused and he continued to put in the work and look what that gave him. It earned him more minutes over Alec Burks, a player that the Knicks traded for, gave up assets for. It doesn't matter because for Thibs, it's all about who's going to give you the best impact when you're playing out there. Tom Thibodeau sent the message to the roster and made a statement last night in their win against Portland. It's not about who he loves or who his favorites are. It's about when you're on the floor, who's going to give the Knicks the best chance to win. If you're that type of player, you're going to carve out some playing time for yourself and you're going to be a consistent spot on this rotation. But if not, you're not going to be. And Alec Burks, unfortunately for you, you fall into that category. You may be a Tom Thibodeau favorite, but you do not help this Knicks team win consistently enough when you're on the floor. So bye-bye, you're gone. Once this Knicks team is fully healthy, you're going to become exactly what you should have been all along. Situational. But what about you guys? What do you think about Tom Thibodeau's comments about Alec Burks and the fact that he didn't play him in the second half against Portland because it was a basketball decision? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. 
Peace.